Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. And this is in the series of the Pearls of Truth. And today our pearl is worldly donations versus becoming a firstborn of the kingdom. It's in addition to our main video today, where we are talking why your blessings are delayed, because you are skipping the first commandment of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, I understand that it is important to support your neighbors, to help them and to assist them when they have need, of course. But it should never be done in a way that you skip the first commandment of the Lord. To commit yourself completely and fully to God the Father. And this is what most people do. Most people are not willing to commit themselves with their resources to the heavenly kingdom because they say the heavenly kingdom has everything, does not need my commitment, my support. But I can, I'm only here standing there and waiting for my blessing to be received from God because everything with the Father is only spiritually. And that's wrong, completely wrong. That's a doctrine from the pits of darkness. Brothers and sisters, Jesus himself has commanded us that we should first commit ourselves completely to the Father, to his kingdom in heaven, and then we should love our neighbors as ourselves. So next time, when you think about worldly donations, when you think about helping other people here and there, then ask yourself that question, what is the what is a pearl of truth today? Have I committed myself with everything what I have to the kingdom of heaven? Have I laid my resources, including my finances and money, at the feet of the Lord? Have I truly become his son and daughter of the kingdom? Is there anywhere where I have committed my, my funds to his kingdom? and to bring it down heaven onto the earth, or to help to spread the gospel of the kingdom before I use my resources for worldly issues? That is a good question, and most people would answer and say no. You are standing now in front of a mirror, and the Holy Spirit will convict you right now of either you have committed yourself with everything, including your resources to the kingdom of heaven, or you have not. Look in that mirror right now. Are you only helping your neighbors, your friends, supporting your brothers in your country with anything because they have need? Or have you already, before you do that, committed yourself with everything, and including financial, financially, have you committed yourself to the kingdom of heaven? What would happen if the brothers and sisters on the first assemblies of the Lord, after his ascension, after the Holy Spirit came down, would not have assisted the apostles with their resources, with everything, because they understood first, first comes the kingdom of heaven, first comes the spreading of the gospel, and they sold everything in excess and laid it at the apostles' feet, so that the apostle had it to fulfill everything what the kingdom, what the kingdom uh, contains. And these are the heavenly principles of love, mercy, and compassion. But if the apostles would not have had anything, they would not be able to travel to all the nations around there and to spread the gospel and to establish the places and to give to all the people who have need. So first is always the kingdom of heaven. So if you stand before that mirror and your face shows an ugly face because you are not yet committed to the kingdom of heaven, then do not expect blessings or supernatural help. Commit yourself first to the kingdom. Become first a true son and daughter of the Most High. 
How can you do that? There are different ministries where you can do it, spread yourself there, assist and support. But you can also do it here at Triple Chris. Follow that link in the first pin command and become a firstborn of the kingdom. Commit yourself with the tr Trinity Code activation 111111 right now. Be part of the 12 positions that are there before the places are taken. Commit yourself to the Father, to the kingdom. And then, when you have done this one, and then come to the second commandment of our Lord and Savior. And then, do worldly donations. But not before you have committed yourself to the kingdom of heaven, and not before you have activated your faith. Only then you will enter into your destiny, and into your purpose on earth. This is a pearl for today. Fulfill the first commandment, and then the second. I hope next time, when you watch in the mirror, you will see a radiant face, a great light, because at that time when you will watch in the mirror, you are already a firstborn to the kingdom. You have already followed that link in the first pin comment, and you have signed up, and you will walk with us. And then your face will be a radiant face, an ardent face, full of fire, a shining face. And then you can continue to do what you usually do, your worldly donations, your worldly support to help others in need. But first, the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I hope this pearl clarifies it to you, why it is important that you stand for the kingdom first. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.